、これね場内だったりするでしょだからあそこで切らないで受け取りにしてということなんです Then with your left foot you kick the right ankle of the opponent and pull your left hand to push him down to the ground みなさんこんにちは And welcome to Let's Ask Six Sensei. I'll help you your host, Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo, and this is Six Sensei. Six Sensei, I'm going to talk about it. 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 I'm going to talk はい、Other than the typical uchikatana that samurai fought with, there are the shorter wakizashi that they always carried. However, why did they always carry it? And could you actually fight with such a short sword? So today, we'll first talk about the history and meaning of the wakizashi, which I've heard for the first time myself. Then we will show five wakizashi kata of Asayama h i n d y u two yai kata in part one, and three kenjutsu kata in part two. Each kata is not only logical as a fighting skill, but also has many historical backgrounds. So, not only Budo lovers, but also fans of Japanese history will be able to enjoy learning about them. Then, let's get started. First of all, what kind of katana are wakisashi? Edo Jidai, this is Tokugawa Bakufu, that is the first thing that I have to say. The first thing that I have to say is the first thing that I have to say. The first thing that I have to say is the first thing that I have to say. During the peaceful Edo period, in order for the samurai government to have complete control over the people, they strictly separated them by class. Each class had rules for what they can do, where they can live, and what they can wear. And the top samurai class was always required to carry the long uchikatana and short wakizashi wherever they go, as a symbol of their high status and responsibility. But if they always had their longer katana too, When would they ever have to use the wakizashi? Keiko de Vane, Ilona Joko de Keiko Shimaskedomo, Genso, Jonai Tokane, Hanai, Nishushi Stertokini, Nagainote, Majama de Marimasashi, Nagaino Sasteru Tenoa, Ma, Yukunai Wakedisione, Descara Soleva, and Obizuni, Oitokakis. De Minasan Wakizashi de Shigoto Sale. Whenever the samurai moved indoors, they would usually remove the longer uchi katana from their waist and leave it somewhere or to a servant. This is because carrying a long katana indoors is physically inconvenient and also not polite to the people of the building. However, the wakizashi was always with them wherever they go. This is so that the samurai could defend themselves just in case they get attacked indoors. And again, also because they must always have a katana with them as a symbol of being a samurai. So, most of the situations as a samurai would use the wakizashi in real life or inside a room or in hallways. There's actually one more interesting fact about the wakizashi. Chonin to ka, no min to ka mo so nan desu kedo ne. Ano, mijikai no te sashi teru nesu. Ah, bushi te nakte desu. Eh. De, nagai no wa bushi ni kagirare ru tokken. Tokken. The wakizashi were actually allowed to be carried by the people of other classes for self defense, too. This means wakizashi may have been the most well owned type of katana among Japanese people. Then let's move on to learning the actual skills of fighting with the wakizashi. What just happened? Let's have Six and Say explain for us. Wakizashi, the Fuku ga daito na this, ne? Kuchira wa ne, hidari, migi to, ikanai to tutokanai mai na this. De kuchi wa, koshi sae agereba, muko wa, migi soku de tutoku. In such a situation, the opponent will put his hands on the handle. You react to that and bring your left knee up as if you're going to step forward to attack. However, your knee is for attracting the enemy's sword there, so you can dodge and parry the attack. As you turn your wrist, you put back your left knee and grab the opponent's wrist. You could cut him here, 
but instead you punch his shoulder with your fist and push him over. As you continue to lock his wrist, you press him down with your knee and put your katana by his neck to win. But why don't you just cut him? This is because again, the situation where you fight with the wakizashi, maybe when you are in a lord's castle, you don't want to shed any blood as much as possible. Also, you want to question later why he tried to attack you, whether it was a personal problem or someone's order. There's actually one more interesting historical fact you can learn from this kata. This is why you brought your knee up first as if you're going to show the blade first, but was actually to lure the enemy to draw. This is something especially important because it is an yai kata using the wakizashi. However, isn't something strange about this situation? Why does the opponent have his long uchi katana with him even though he is also indoors? Just because a samurai would usually leave their uchikatana before they go indoors, it doesn't mean that they haven't brought it to the castle. If they were willing to attack someone from the start, they could bring the longer katana into the building too. In order for the samurai to train to be able to win any situation, they train to fight against longer katana with the wakizashi too. This seems like he captured the opponent without killing him again. But how did he do it? This time, the opponent will aim toward your head with one hand. You block it, making a cross shape. And as you stand up, you push your wakizashi toward the opponent's suba handguard. Once you get close enough, you grab the wrist with your left hand. Then, with your left foot, you kick the right ankle of the opponent and pull your left hand to push him down to the ground. As you do so, you place the blade against the back of his neck to win. If your opponent tries to resist and stand up, the wakizashi will automatically cut his neck. Then let's watch him demonstrate the original form. So the original form was a no weapon move to capture an opponent who caused a crime somewhere indoors. Eventually, there was a new kata created so they can practice the same thing using the wakizashi. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video too and learning about the wakizashi, it'd be great if you can hit the like button and leave us any comments if you'd like to learn more about the short sword, the short katana, wakizashi. And our goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. If you help to achieve this goal, we'll be able to do a lot more in this YouTube channel. We'll be doing online lessons, selling merchandise, or holding seminars overseas where you are too. It'd be great if you could help us out by subscribing and sharing our videos. And it's very scary, but if you keep on pulling, it will cut the elbow and break the opponent's arm. By using these skills, you will have a higher chance of winning the fight, even if you are forced to face his son on the battlefield. 